Okay, so if you've been following our videos and you saw one of our most recent videos, and if you haven't, click the link above me, we do conservation work with Northern Diamondback Terrapins. We've been doing it since 2018. It's called the Terrapin Conservation Initiative. Now, aside of what we do with the actual adult turtles, we also remove eggs for artificial incubation because of how bad the eggs are being predated by tons of animals like raccoons and crows, just to name two. Well, today, in cooperation with Conserve Wildlife New Jersey, we are building a nest box at one of their sites that's not too far from here where our eggs can incubate safely, securely, and naturally. And then in the fall, when they hatch, we will open up this nest box, grab the babies, and release them back to our site. So come on, you guys are coming to build this with me right now. Hey friends, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. It really helps us out. And also don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications so you get notified every time we post a video. If you're a fan of reptiles and especially love turtles and tortoises and want to help us out here at Garden State Tortoise, please consider becoming a patron today by joining our Patreon. The link is always in the description of these videos or you can just go to patreon.com and search Garden State Tortoise. with these wild diamondback terrapins and really doing any kind of conservation, um, especially when it comes to reptiles, it has its ups and downs and sometimes its downs are really hard to take because these animals are so poorly understood um, and people are just so unaware of their local wildlife or even in wildlife areas that they're traveling to that the animals suffer immensely. And what's happening at our study sites is that there's just no safe nesting area. So these turtles are coming up to the soft shoulders along the roadways and trying to nest in like little minimal, like three to four foot areas, and that's it. So the predators that have grown over time to learn that the turtles congregate in these areas one time a year are coming in and pulverizing, literally pulverizing every attempt they make to nest. So coming across hatchlings in these areas that we study at, is, is so rare. We almost never find hatchlings. It's very, very occasional. And um, this is part of why the state has deemed our project necessary. It's because right now the population of Diamondback Terrapins is robust and healthy, but we need to keep it that way. We need to keep it stable because if year after year after year goes by and these eggs keep getting eaten and none of the hatchlings are getting to go back to the salt marsh, that really hurts the terrapin population and it also will hurt other animal populations that rely on the terrapins, uh, like shorebirds. So this is where uh, what we're doing right now comes into play. We used to artificially incubate the eggs ourselves, but now we're gonna be working with Conserve Wildlife uh, to use their turtle garden that they've created at their main site where female terrapins can safely nest at or eggs can be relocated to. And the reason we're making our own nest box is because our baby terrapins need to go back to the area that their mothers are native to or local to. So um, this is really cool. Uh, Conserve Wildlife has so many amazing projects where they're working with everything from raptors to terrapins and bog turtles, um, all kinds of stuff, shorebirds. Um, so the work they do is extremely important and they partner with Fish and Wildlife. And this turtle garden is a half acre. So that's huge, that's awesome. I mean, the thousands and thousands of eggs that can safely incubate here uh, under close watch, but in a natural manner, is massive for the species. So uh, we applaud them for the incredible work that they've done. We're also extremely grateful that they're allowing us to be a part of it by bringing our eggs there because we don't have approval to do something like this at our study site. So, uh, you know, we like to do everything by the books so that we can continue to legally help these turtles. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna head up there, it's not very far, and we're gonna set up a nest box and uh, as our females lay eggs and we come across them, um, or hopefully get some salvaged eggs from these predated nests, we'll bring them up here where they can be safe. So our egg box is complete, it is installed, and it is in a beautiful area that is fully designated for diamondback terrapin eggs, and it is fully protected from both predators and of course people. There are cameras everywhere, there is signage everywhere, and there is a constant watch on these turtle gardens. So again, I applaud Conserve Wildlife, and a huge thank you to Ben and Conserve Wildlife for letting us do this. So, 
that's in place. Now all we have to do is get eggs from our study sites and I have a divider inside there and everything and I'm actually gonna subdivide it a little bit more because Casey and I have multiple study sites for terrapins. So this way we can mark them and we know where to put the eggs from each site in which compartment within our egg box. And then this way we won't have a problem knowing who goes where in the fall when it's time to release the youngsters. But our day is far from over because even though that's in place, we have terrapins and we have got to go see what's going on with them over at our study sites. So come on, here we go. just got back to our main study site and we've got a female right here that's nesting. She's about to drop her eggs. So what we're gonna do is let her finish so she feels complete and that she fulfilled her job. And then we're gonna get those eggs and we're gonna safely transport them to our brand new egg box. So the timing couldn't be any better and uh, it's good that we got here when we did because there's crows hanging out literally just above us on the power lines waiting for those eggs to start coming out and they will literally destroy the whole nest. So we collected a bunch of eggs from our study site and we just got back here to where our new egg box is and we are getting what we have been waiting for for what feels like forever now. Uh, I've said in other videos that it has been the driest spring we've ever had and we are finally getting rain, heavy rain. There's a storm surge. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but there's a lot of terrapins out there sticking their heads up out of the water trying to drink that fresh water because remember they are brackish water species. Some of them may even start trying to come up to these puddles of fresh water to drink from, but uh, this is awesome. Even though it's gonna make it difficult for us to put the eggs in there right now, we'll get the job done and I'm just thrilled. Uh, this is great for wild turtles and it's also awesome for all the turtles and tortoises over at Garden State Tortoise that have been having one heck of a time nesting so far this spring. So finally, rain!